How you doing, folks? Papa Joe here. I'm out here in Boise, Idaho. At the Boise Stage Stop. Nice little place. If uh, anybody's traveling out here on I-80, 84, I'm sorry. It's a good place stop. Truck drivers, plenty of parking at the truck stop. Good food, decent prices, nice folks. I want to talk to you today about Easter. Now the uh, day of chocolate rabbits and baskets of candy and hard boiled eggs, uh, a big Easter meal, plastic eggs full of money and little toys and gifts and whatnot. It's a big day. Kids love it. A lot of parents love it. I'm curious. Have you taught them the real meaning of Easter? Have you uh, explained to them that uh, Jesus lived a perfect life, a sinless life, and that uh, he was crucified on a cross? And that this was, he got crucified uh, just before Passover, which was a big holiday. And they allowed him to take him down. A little more to the story, but you know, that's if you tell the whole story to you youngins. Put him in a borrowed tomb, which was a cave. Big old rock rolled in front of it. And, uh, when they came to get him after the holidays, he was gone. The stone was rolled away from the entrance of the cave and he was gone. Uh, there's a lot of people out there trying to confuse Christian holidays and Christian stories. This is one of them. They try to be cute and they say Friday to Sunday, that ain't three days and three nights. Well, once again, you have to understand the times. Uh, first off, Saturday was their holy day, not Sunday. And their days did not start at midnight like ours do. Check and correct. Uh, uh, make sure, make sure that I'm correct. I think they started at noon. But they didn't start at midnight. That I do know. And uh, the math is still right. I mean, the Bible don't lie. Please. Do a little bit of research on the time of the days and blah, blah, blah. You know, do a little math. The people that are trying to holler, ooh, it's all wrong, they're wrong. Uh, we need to pass stuff along. It's a dying art of telling the stories. And we need to tell the Bible stories. We need to make sure that our children know about our Savior and what He did for us and what these holidays really mean. Same thing with Christmas. The Memorial Days and Veterans Days, all of them, as they come around, I'll be doing little videos on them. Uh, I'm not a teacher. I'm not going to try to teach you. I'm going to remind you, and I'll tell you what little bit of knowledge I have, and that's very little. But uh, let's let's let the kids know that it's not just a commercialized day of getting goodies and having that big meal. Let's let them know that there's a real reasoning reason behind it, and that is to celebrate the raising of the dead, which was Jesus. I probably didn't say that right, but I'm human. I'm not perfect, far from it. But it is to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. There, that's the better word in port. So, uh, 
Thank you, Lord, for sending your son down here for us. Thank you for him dying on the cross for us, for taking our sins. That was awesome. That was awesome. Remember, folks, we ain't got way into heaven without Jesus. And the whole thing of faith is you've got to believe the Jesus story. And you got to believe it in your heart. you got to believe it. So let's get our youngins to heaven. Let's tell them the story. I hope you all have a happy Easter. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find time to go to church tomorrow. Easter and Christmas is the two biggest church days I know for a lot of people. I hope you go. Just remember, God loves you and so do I. God bless you. Happy Easter.